<laughs> What's up, you guys? Leia Farmer 73 here. And I just woke up good. So I'm about to run an experiment on miracle fruit. This is a miracle fruit tree that I just purchased. And I purchased this because our good friends here in the Greenhouse Lounge, Black's Tropical Homestead, was so kind to let me and my wife, Lady Led, taste the fruit. This is what they look like. Little, tiny, red berries. That's it. So what you're supposed to do is just put it on your tongue and mash down and spread it all over your tongue and spit out the seed. Don't bite into this. I made that mistake. And then try to eat something sour I don't know if it's going to work on anything bitter. So that's what I'm here to try. So today, I'm trying this on some of my favorite coffee. I want to see if this works. So I'm going to show it to you again. Here's my coffee. So I'm going to try this with no cream, no sugar, no nothing. My coffee is straight, straight black coffee. So here we go. You ready, honey? <laughs> That's it. And that's the seed. I'm going to plant that. I'm going to wait a few minutes. So here we go. Just to show you, it's just black coffee. So here we go. Guava. Good morning. I hope this works. It don't work. It don't work for coffee. <laughs> Give me some apple cider vinegar. Maybe it just works on on sour things, not bitter things. So I'm gonna show you the plant again while she's getting it ready. This is a little scrawny little thing, but it's gonna get the job done. Okay, this is some of our own homemade apple cider vinegar. Uh, that we made that's strong so guava I'm going to try that and it's strong it made this super sweet it's actually, it made it actually too sweet. Can you believe that? So it's just for sour. So it's, so what I'm seeing so far, it made, it's, it made this taste super, super sweet. Like, like literally mouth full of sugar sweet. Um, it made it super sweet. I guess the what I'm saying is, from my experiment, the riper the berry is, it seemed like the sweeter it'll make things taste. That berry was going bad. It was super ripe. And, Try it with this. Ooh, perfect. Oh, that's a wonderful. So now... I'm going to taste it with this um, zero calorie, it's unsweetened. unsweetened watermelon seltzer water. No, nothing. It's not, sour. it's not sour. So this just still tastes like seltzer water. It didn't work on this. <laughs> She's like, okay, that's enough. Oh, give me, give me that lemon. On my, on my counter in there. Mama's lemon. Give me a knife. This, this is a variegated lemon. It's not supposed to look like this. The only reason it's like this is because it's old. I've had it for months and just sitting. And it's 
hard as a rock on the outside, but the inside is still a viable lemon on the inside. I'm going to show you. My mother grew this lemon off of her tree. And as you can see, it's sweet. Guava, mama. <laughs> it tastes like lemonade. It made the lemon really sweet. Really sweet. Very, 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 very delicious. It turned this lemon. This is supposed to be, again, a, a variegated Eureka lemon. And it turned it into lemonade. That is just delicious and refreshing. Because it could be used to make lemonade mm -hmm. with no sugar. So there you go. You want lemonade. Mm. Mm. Good. The juice. The juice is the bomb. Mmm. Mm. So, just so you know, it's still really, really sweet. That tastes like lemonade. I'm going to call it country lemonade with tons of sugar in it. So, mm. oh my goodness. So, it works. So, that miracle fruit plant, just putting that in, in your mouth just for a few seconds, will turn everything so far that's sour, it'll turn it sweet. Bitter, not, not so much. So, it didn't work for the coffee. It worked for the vinegar. It worked for the lemon. And it'll work probably like for something like pickles. You know what? Go get me one of the pickles out that jar up there. Are you about to eat it? Yep. The whole thing. Mm -hmm. That's not a good Chop, no, chop. Oh, okay. I'm Mr. sorry. Chop, chop. Chop, chop. Chop, chop. <laughs> so, so, I got a big jar of pickles. I'm going to just, I just want to try it just to see if it worked. So we're going to try this giant dill pickle and see how it works out. Okay. So here we go. See what the pickle tastes like. What you do with that knife? Nothing. Yep. Yeah. Made the pickle taste like a sweet gherkin. Wow, that's crazy. I keep wanting you to say. I keep wanting to say, taste this, but you can't because you ain't got no berry. Oh, that's an old wise tale. So, this tastes like a giant sweet pickle. Like relish. This is crazy. That berry... Is one of the most amazing things I've ever experienced. Because, I, I mean, I can't believe it. So far, this little bush right here, this tree, the miracle fruit. I've eaten an old lemon. 
I've eaten a dill pickle and I've drank apple cider vinegar. And it's, it's all of those things in my mouth. There is zero um, sourness to any of them. It all tastes super sweet. Like um, lemonade, the lemons taste just like lemonade. The apple cider vinegar tastes like hard cider. And the pickle made it taste like a sweet gherkin pickle. Like, like pickle relish. So that's it, you guys. I know this was a long video, but I just wanted, to, I woke up and I said, I want to just give it a shot, you know, try it. So there you go. Get yourself a miracle fruit. And I want to say thank you and shout out to Black Tropical Homestead for letting us share that experience with you guys, because I've never in my life experienced anything like that. From now on, I will be growing this tree probably for the rest of my life. Help me with my sweet tooth. All right. Live from server three. I love y'all. Good morning. And I'm out. I had to I had to start recording again because it's been over what has been the that video is fifth. It's been almost 20 minutes. And I'm still going back and eat the old lemon. And so far. Is literally making things just as super sweet as it did like 20 minutes ago. So it's not wearing off anytime soon. So what I'm hearing is it will keep your keep your taste buds like this, heightened like this, for from anywhere to 30 to 90 minutes. So so far, it's working. Um, I'm going to let you guys know how long it actually lasts. I'm going to keep on tasting lemons every blue moon to see. So, with that being said...